What's life been so far, man? Being here, being in Lexington, playing college ball, and more importantly, being at Kentucky. Uh, this is amazing. It's everything I dreamed of. Uh, I wanted to be here. I'm glad I'm here. And it's been great. What's been the biggest adjustment? Adjustment, just playing with other really good players. And, uh, you know, I come from a high school where I feel like my team was really good. But uh, here, you know, we have a lot of five stars, four stars, and it's been great so far. I love playing with a lot of players who can make plays for themselves as well. Are you going up against Ashton every day in practice? Or? Every day. And what's that like? It's amazing. just makes each other better. Uh, I feel like I can help him get better, and he can help me get better. So, Where can he help you get better? What uh, areas? In all areas of the game. Of course, y'all know Ashton is a very good defender. And uh, he's going to challenge me every day, challenge whoever he's guarding. And I feel like I'm a very good defender as well, so I can challenge him. In the short time, how have you seen your game develop, and where do you see you still want to take it and get better at it? Uh, you can get better at anything every single day, just waking up in the morning. But um, I feel like I've been more patient and uh, just been able to be more vocal as a freshman and run the team a little bit. And uh, Coach Kyle has really been pushing on me to be more vocal, like I said. Uh, you know, he's very high on his point guards to make him be like a leader, so. He doesn't seem to have to push you very hard to do that, to be vocal, to be a, a leader out here. Oh, no, nah, I think I'm a natural born leader, honestly. Uh, <laughs> 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 but but no, nah, seriously, though, uh, it's very important to have leaders. Uh, and another person who helps me is Nate Sestina. Uh, he has a lot of college experience, so he's telling me, you know, what I can tell guys and stuff like that. Where, where does that come from, the just – Always smiling, always seems like you're, you're bright awake, ready to go, do anything you want to do. Uh, I think it's just from my mom and my dad. It's a mix between them. It's the way they brought me up. Uh, they say, you know, if you get up in the morning, if you're able to wake up and you get another chance at life, then you, there's no reason for you to be upset. So I'm always happy. <laughs> and I'm also doing what I love, playing basketball. That makes it a lot better, too. Hey, Tyrese, talk about your uh, your friendship with Dante Allen and the kind of fun and things you guys like to do together as a court. Well, recently, me and Dante have took interest in playing ping pong against each other, and that is amazing. He's always he's very competitive no matter what we do. So he, even when it doesn't like hit the table or something, it's not supposed to be his point. He's trying to get the point. So it's just really fun. Coach Kyle mentioned the possibility of playing three guards at the same time. Is that exciting to know that you'll be on the court with, with Ash and with another guy that can play the point? Uh, if that's what Coach Kyle decides to do, then we're going to go out there and try, <laughs> and try to execute whatever he needs us to do. So, we're going to see. Just the, the thought of reclassifying and didn't do that, and just as you look back at it now and think you, you're glad you didn't do it? Uh, I'm happy with my decision. Like I said, I, like I've always said, I took, uh, took my time, talked it over with my family, and uh, we came up with a decision that I was going to stay. And uh, now I'm here now, so hey. Just the, uh, I know you've talked to with some of the newspapers about the, the whole Marvel thing. What was it that, that like, why did it become a thing for you to, to see all those movies and everything? What, what caught on with you? Honestly, I just, well, I watched the little Spider-Man stuff before the actual MCU came out. And I just, like, a superhero fanatic. I just, it just, I don't know, it just excites me. So when the Iron Man came out and they started making a, like an actual series and an actual like they all come together, I had to get into it. So like I just watched every single one of them. I watched them all probably multiple times. So how excited were you to see that Spider Man was staying in the MCU? Well, first they they took him out, so I was devastated. I saw it on Twitter. I just put a teardrop. I had no worries. That's all I could do. But uh, now that I saw they you know they're coming back, I had a feeling that they were gonna find a way to get him back in there because. You know, he's a highly you know, thought of character and he's going to bring a lot of money to the table. So, but I'm very excited.